welcome to this week's video. Now this week's video is going to be a rather technical, nerdy video. By popular request I've had, let's have a look. Two people request that I do this video. Now this is going to be about the CQ 18T by Alan Heath Digital Mixing Desk and I've had some people ask about the built-in effects so I've said that I will do a video about them but first just to keep people interested who aren't so interested in the built-in effects on the CQ 18T here's a little clip of me playing my new guitar which is that one there recorded live using the CQ 18T which is why I bought it and I'm very pleased with it so here's a little clip of me playing the guitar and then after that we shall get on to the technical stuff Well, I hope you enjoyed that video of the solo. Now let's get into the deep dive on the effects on this unit. Um, I'll explain how I've done it on there, but I'm using the app rather than filming this, which was a bit of a pain. Here's a little clip of what I tried to do until I realized I could do it all on the app. And I'm using acoustic guitar to demonstrate most of it. So hopefully that's a good way of demonstrating it. Please let me know if you think there's a better way of doing it. I might better make a more clear video maybe, but anyway, let me know what you think. But here we go, moving on to the screen record of the app with a voiceover. I'm trying to work out the best way of demoing all these different effects units. Um, Originally, I was pointing a camera at the desk itself, but realised that my fingers get in the way and you get all kinds of reflections. And I remembered that the app on the iPad, which is what you're looking at, looks pretty much the same. The actual effects units have all the same look as them. The screen looks slightly different. You get more, you get, don't get the faders along the bottom on the actual um, touch screen. Um, but other than that, it looks exactly the same. And what I've done, I've plugged a mic in so you can hear what I'm saying as I'm recording this into the computer um, because the effects don't record actually onto the SD card as far as I can tell um, there's certainly no easy way of doing it and I've got an acoustic guitar plugged into the next channel and this is what it sounds like without any effects on it so what I'm going to do is let me turn on this I'm going to go through the different um, effects units um, and just play a bit of guitar for each so you can hear what they sound like I know it's a vocal classic, but I think you get a better idea with the um, guitar. So on each, on a lot of these different units, you get this effects assist thing, which is basically, it's according to the instructions, the effects assist looks at the signal passing through the unit and makes dynamic adjustments to enhance or improve the sound of the effects. And they're kind of context dependent. Some of them have more than one. You can press one at a time. So if I just demonstrate what it does on this, it softens. So... <laughs> quite subtle that some of them are, um, make more difference but let me just turn the reverb size off I'm not gonna do this in all the one this is the very first one this is the very first thing you get on this e easy verb <laughs> so 
the other thing I was going to mention is I've put all of the um, everything on 0 dB. So although I'm sending more reverb than I probably would live, I thought as we're trying to hear what the reverb sounds like, I'd send it at 0 dB. So right, let's put that reverb size back. Let's move through a couple of these other pro uh, presets: vocal echo. Let's hit the clarity. Vocal intimate. And hit whisper. String slap. Let's slap the strings. Turn the soften off. I won't go necessarily through all of these others. Uh, let's go drum room, because that one does sound a bit different. Let's hit energy. So that's a kind of uh, quick overview of easy verb. That's the one I use mainly for vocals um, when I'm playing live. So to change the effects unit, because you can't see what I'm tapping here. For top right hand corner, there's that little folder icon. So you click that and then you select one of the units on the left here. So I'm going to go echo verb and then you have to hit recall. Now this is echo verb. So it sounds to me like a delay and reverb. You can tap the delay time on it. I think you can do that with a foot switch as well. Um, and you can change the echo time in broad sweeps here. Colour of the reverb. and size of the reverb as well. So let's just try some of these effects assists. Let's move on to the next one. Next one is space verb. Now this is um, giving you space as in different types of spaces. So large hall. <laughs> to plate. And then forever plate. Okay, next one, folder icon again, at the top right, echo delay. Ah, it just takes a sec to load up, so that's why I didn't get anything there, but here we go. So this sounds just pretty much like a delay here. Doesn't seem to be doing a great deal when I'm changing these things, does it? I've no idea what this is doing. Oh, there we go. <laughs> 
<laughs> yes. The repeat rate is making a difference. Ah, and intensity is the amount of feedback. Don't know why I didn't pick up on that the first time round. Anyway, that's a basic echo unit by the looks of things. Let's check the next one. Tap delay. And you could tap one of the other ones, so I don't really know why this is... Uh Again, I think you can set up with a foot switch. I'm just going to tap where the number is. Thicken, what's that do? That's quite nice. Let's try the um, low cut. That's quite an interesting effect. High cut. Right, next one, what we got here? Stereo delay. Now this, let's have a look at the width. How do we turn that up? There we go. Let's try it slower. So I'm tapping the numbers again. I'm gonna try the ping pong. That's not working in my headphones, but it did work when I had the headphones plugged directly into the unit. Um, I'm actually recording this into my computer um, because it's, uh, as I say, I couldn't record the effects very easily. So I'm hoping maybe that that ping pong will be working um, when I render the file. You've got the same low cut and high cut. You can put both on if you don't want hardly anything in your echo at all. You want it to sound like it's echoing through a telephone, I suppose. Uh, what's next? Stereo delay, we've done that beat delay. What's this one? Oh, I guess so you can set that to, uh, I guess if you're using tracks and stuff, and you've got your um, BPM fixed, that's a good way of uh, making sure your delays are all in time with that. Um, I don't do that, so I'm not going to look at that one. Uh, double tracker. Now this is probably this might be one a good one to try it with the vocals just to try it. So let's go here. Let's put this on the microphone just for a minute, so you can hear what it's doing. Oh, there's more than one of me. Now let's quad. What does that do? Wow. Yeah, yeah. There's lots of okay, delay when my other self starts. There we go, wide, narrow, narrow, wide, wide, narrow. So that's pretty good for BVs and stuff. I'm turning it off the mic. Let's hear what it sounds like with the guitar now. Well, that's nice. be quite a useful effect. I haven't used that live yet, but that might be nice for backing vocals and stuff. Right, so next one, what have we got here? Chorus. That's nice. his acoustic guitar sounds so if I wanted to use it for that couldn't I <laughs> bit much but it's a nice chorus and next we have flanger Making any difference in my headphones at the moment? I think that's the way I've got it set up. But uh, what happens if we put it in extreme mode? but not least we've got a phaser Oh! 
Well, I hope that was useful. Uh, please leave me a comment. Let me know what you think. Let me know if there's any other videos you think I can do on the unit because I've used it quite a few times now and I'm very pleased with it indeed. I'm also pleased with my new guitar so I'm going to show you uh, that clip again of me playing it to end the video. So please hit like, hit subscribe. Um, I'll bring out new videos at 7pm UK time every Friday and I hope to see you next week.